32 pounds. He finds people from Burlington, Vermont, in the corner and in the ring. Louis Le Farmer Laurent. Louis, also no stranger to superstar in wrestling, has now developed into a full-fledged heavyweight. Did you fans can remember when Louis first appeared on the Superstar of Wrestling? He weighed 191 pounds, and today he's up in the 222-pound class. A lot of weight being given away there, Tony, by Enrico and Laurent. Yes, George, uh, as you can see, there's about 700 pounds of beef between those two fellows there, and uh, I'm sure the fans seen that uh, when Gina and I wrestled and we went through some... Uh, heavy pain. I mean, when we came out of that ring, we were in pain. Believe me, in pain. And, uh, but, uh, we come out victorious a few times, but they're real still hard to control. They're big men, strong men, and, uh, they have, uh, a lot of stamina, too. Well, Louis the Farmer, and now he is, uh, especially known as the Farmer to his fans, because he has bought a farm, and he's living and working the farm, and Louis has decided he would like to be known as Louis the Farmer, in appreciation to all of these many farmers that helped him become established once he purchased his acreage. Louis in the ring now, and, and Jill in the fish puts on, and uh, Jill is less than 300 pounds, but I would venture to say he's a little bit more than 300 pounds. Louis, regardless of how you look at it, has given away 80 or 90 pounds. And uh, it's not any better when the smaller one of the two comes in. And that's the hind man, because he weighs 290, 295. Laurent's in the ring now. Taking a lot of punishment on that left arm. Let me ask you a question. When you and Gino go against a combination of two wrestlers that are in the class of uh, Joe and the Fish Poisson and the Hangman, you have to plan a different strategy, right? Well, so far our strategy is uh, that when you get these uh, big, heavy duties, we call them heavy duties, uh, you're going to have to wear them down. That means uh, we have to all stamina them. Uh, you just got to keep circling around and circling around until they uh, run out of gas. It's just like a steam engine. When it runs out of steam, well, then you can almost do anything you want with it. But uh, as long as they got stamina, they're very, very strong. They got a lot of weight on us, so uh, and they're fully experienced. So we uh, that's our strategy, uh, George. Well, they have a lot of wrestling knowledge, but something else that you have to be very careful about with wrestlers that size is not to go underneath them because if they ever fell on you, just the weight falling on your body would be enough to do a lot of damage. Well, that's that's one point. Well, that's a good point you got there. You get these guys falling on you, and you're uh, you look like pizza pie. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but you're right. You have to stay away from getting underneath these guys. Once they get you underneath, then they're gonna it's gonna uh, cost you a lot of stamina to get out of. And, uh, of course, we can afford it because we're in the 240 mark, but still, you got to struggle and struggle, and uh, although they're tough competitors. Well, Poisson has been around for a while, knows his way around that ring, and so has the hand. So you can't write them off to inexperience. You have to go up there and figure they're big, they're strong, they're rough, they're tough, and they're ready. Well, they get uh, to be awful rough sometimes. I mean, they, uh, they're the type of guys that'll grab you by the hair, throw you out of the ring, come out and smash the chair over your head. That's the kind of guy. They, they, they don't follow any uh, wrestling rules at all. So, most of rules are these guys, right? So, to bump and break a shoulder or a leg with these guys, are not very careful. Well, here's the hangman coming in on the tag. Walks right in and kicks over the hand and lock on Louis. Now he goes to the arm bar. Something I didn't know. Was Stop the 
five minutes, you know. Yes, there's one guy you got to watch, George, when he's around the ringside. He's a dangerous man to have. You'd never know what he pulls, what stunt is going to pull. Is there some reason why he's not out here now? Well, he figures that uh, his voice can do a lot of damage up here right now, so he, he's not where he's not needed. It's an unfortunate thing, Tony, that professional wrestling today has the likes of the Eddie Creechmans and the Lord Alfred Hayes, various types of wrestling managers, who sort of degrade the profession, degrade the sport of wrestling, are always trying to push the on. Rico in there taking a lot of punishments. I want to mention this to the fans that uh, even though they got about 150 pounds in the two boys, professional wrestling is it's uh, unlimited weight. You could be 220 pounds and you could be 500 pounds. That's it really doesn't make any difference. It's unfair at uh, times, but uh, just the way the uh, professional wrestling that's why we see so many of these wrestlers over 200 pounds is because not having any weight class that uh, if you want to go in with the big boys, you have got to take what they give you. And we were talking with John Studd before, when they come six foot nine, and you have the Billy Green, and you have the Hangman, and Jill the Fish puts on, these 300 plus fellas. Tony, you got to be very careful, let me tell you. You're walking on the track day. You're right, George. Uh, this is what you call the mountains of wrestling, so uh, you have to be uh, in very good shape and condition to attack these guys. Well, there's three minutes remaining in the first few match. No fouls as of yet. A couple of fans enjoying the matches. Size 14. The time is winding down, Tony, and uh, we should have about two minutes or so to go in this match. To end all of the action on superstars today, or tonight if you're looking in the evening. And I hope you fans realize this program goes to very many places. Sometimes showing in the afternoon, sometimes showing in the evening. There is less than two minutes remaining in this match. Are these two young fellas going to get a draw out of this match? Oh, did you see that, George? Did you see that right in the chops? A big size 13. You think I spoke too soon, right? That's a bad question. It, wrestling fans. Earlier superstars of wrestling programs have shown you that the Destroyer is now the different type of man 
that we have seen in the past. No longer do we see a destroyer who goes out there and, and tries to beat his opponents down by using illegal tactics. I'm very pleased to say that the destroyer, the super intelligent destroyer, let me add that, is now one of the fellows who I admire. Well, thank you very much, George. Uh, Lord Alfred Hayes, you know, he comes out here and says, uh, oh, he knocks your English language, you know. Well, he should be able to speak English. He's from England, you know. And, uh, but uh, he comes out with all this uh, British accent, and he's a lord. You know, and I'd like to just check up and see how much of a lord he is. They probably had to boot him out of England. Well, it's obvious that he's some type of sub-intellect who has cultivated a little bit of the English language and is able to come out here and a little bit of terminology about wrestling, a little bit of vernacular, a little bit of the semantics about the type of business that we're involved in, but it doesn't hide what's underneath that facade. I he is a corrupt man. I only mention the name Hayes because a few weeks back he belittled the fact and he told the people, let's cry about the destroyer's son yes, and I what happened that, to him. Yes. So that's the only reason I mention his name. I'd just like to say that I, I'm in wrestling because I got out of wrestling out of college and I went into wrestling and it's the greatest thing that has ever happened to me, going to wrestling. I visited 20 countries, toured around the world. I've been wrestling a long time. I've had probably 6,000 matches. But when I go in the ring, I go in there be for two things. Naturally, I'm in it to make money. But I like wrestling and I hope these people who are watching they like wrestling, and when they see the destroyer on the card, please come on down and say hello. Well, very good. Thank you very much.